Hey guys, how's it going? Clip your week today, and today I'd like to introduce you to a hobby of mine, the uh, hobby of collecting autographed pictures. So we'll get right down, um, right down to business, I guess you could say. Kitten setting this one out because this is pretty much my collection, so um, she turned it over to me. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And at the end of the video, I have a new picture that I haven't seen yet. I'm going to share it with you guys, the, the great unveiling, so stay tuned for that. The first uh, autographed picture, and these are in no particular order. I just grabbed them off the uh, back wall here. This is Kelsey May. If you're familiar with the show The Voice, I believe in 2015, uh, Kelsey was on that show. Um, I forget what position she finished in on the show, but she did uh, advance quite a bit. Um, she is from Lawrence County, Kentucky, which is about... I think two counties over from where I'm originally from. So I, I was aware of her thanks to that. And then she would do like Facebook Lives where she would like take song requests and take Q&As. And I just really enjoyed her personality, um, a, a really sweet person. And then by sheer luck in 2018, my mom and I went to um, the Mountain Art Center in, in a town called Prestonsburg, Kentucky, where Pam Tillis was the um, headliner and Kelsey May opened for her. Mom was excited to see Pam Tillis, but I was more or less excited to see Kelsey May. And after the show, she had a meet and greet where I got to meet her, take a picture with her, and also purchased uh, this picture. Which, if you notice, the autograph's right here, but the inscription's right here. She'd actually signed the, the pictures before the show. But, you know, I figured, you know, I'd like to just get a personal license. I was already there to meet her anyway. So, this is something that, um, it reminds me of a great night. In a small way, it's a, it's a little bit bittersweet because that wound up being the final concert that Mom and I went to. Um, she passed away less than two years later, but before um, she got really sick, we used to go to concerts all the time, so that was a great last memory at least. The next picture, and most of these are professional wrestling. I absolutely I loved it as a kid. I, I get into it now. I watch Ohio Valley Wrestling each week. Um, I, I know Jake said he enjoyed hearing about my wrestling fandom, and I think there's some other people that mentioned they liked hearing about it too. So I figured I'd show some of my autographed uh, wrestling pictures. This is from the Russian Nightmare Nikita Koloff. Um, this um, came to me when um, Mom got me his autobiography for Christmas one year, which the book was autographed, and he threw in this picture as well. The funny thing about that, about a year or two before I got the um, autobiography, he came to a nearby town for a 4th of July festival that Mom went to, and um, I was too shy to meet him. I mean, I absolutely loved him as a kid, but sometimes um, I, I get a little tongue-tied around, like, celebrities or whatnot, so I was too shy to go meet him that day. He had another book that was kind of a self-help book that Mom picked up for me, and he autographed it for me there, too. So I've got about three Nikita Koloff autographs. This next picture is a, is a very special one to me from a very special time. Kimberly got it for me, or AKA Kitten. This is Sergeant Slaughter when he came to Comic Con. This was shortly after our first date, and um, Kimberly was up at Comic Con uh, helping her mom. They were doing some sailing, they had some crafts and such set up. So she walked over and got me this picture from Sergeant Slaughter. She knew I was a big fan of his. And it says, Attention Nathan. Be good to Kimberly, and that's an order. Sergeant Slaughter, any questions? And um, that was it's quite prophetic because, you know, we had just had our first date, so he was giving me some advice, and I've took his advice, and now three years later we're still going strong and we're as happy as ever. This is one of my latest autographs, and it's been one that I've, I'd wanted for a few years, and it finally worked out to where I was able to get it um, last month at the Comic-Con in Pipeville. The legendary Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, in my opinion, one of the best wrestlers to ever uh, lace up the boots. Just an outstanding um, competitor in the ring. He had some classic matches with Ric Flair in the 70s and 80s and even the 90s. Uh, everyone mentions the, the great matchup he had with Macho Man Randy Savage at WrestleMania 3 where they stole the show. He had some great matches with Ravishing Rick Rude and WCW in the early 90s. And just one of the nicest guys in the business of professional wrestling. Um, I was super, super nice to his fans. Um, he treated me great. Um, he took this um, autographed picture for me, and I also got my picture taken with him. And for those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, you've probably saw that picture. 
So I was very happy to get a meet Ricky Steamboat and get that autograph. As like I said, one of the nicest um, guys in the business and one of the best wrestlers of all time. And speaking of some of the best of all time, this is a tag team that, in my opinion, um, if not the best, one of the best tag teams of all time, Ricky and Robert, the Rock and Roll Express. I saw them wrestle in Smoky Mountain Wrestling when I was um, 9, 10, 11 years old in the early 90s. Uh, I met them then, but uh, sadly those pictures and the autograph picture was lost to time. They came back to Williamson earlier this summer, which um, Kitten and I did a video of, if you want to go back in the archives and watch it, where they uh, headlined the show, and I also got to meet them and uh, get my picture took with them and get this autograph picture. Again, um, one of the greatest tag teams of all time. This next picture a friend got for me uh, through the mail of legendary basketball coach Tubby Smith. Led the Kentucky Wildcats to the 1998 National Championship. Um, also had a great career at Tulsa in Georgia. Then went on to, from Kentucky to Minnesota. And then um, Texas Tech, Memphis, and High Point, where High Point is, the, is, is his alma mater. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not a Kentucky Wildcat fan, but I, I, I definitely can respect what Toby Smith did in his career. And he's also a stand-up guy. And also uh, High Point University. They compete in the Big South Conference, which is, which is where uh, Winthrop, my favorite NCAA Division One team, resides at, so I see them play quite often. And, you know, I enjoy seeing High Point do good as well, so I thought that was pretty cool. Also at Williamson, I got the uh, autograph of former NWA World Heavyweight Champion and Smoky Mountain Champion, Tommy Wildfire Rich. This next picture is, a, is a, one of my favorites. It is from Mike Dunleavy. At the time, he was a the coach at Tulane University, and at the time, um, if you sent an email to his secretary, they would gladly um, hook you up with an autographed picture. I like this because he was the coach of the Los Angeles Clippers from 2003 to 2010, I believe it was, and he led the Clippers to their first playoff victory, um, since 1976 during the 2006 playoffs so he led the Clippers to some history some good history because as most of my fellow basketball fans know there wasn't a lot of good history with the Clippers but Mike Dunleavy led them in 2006 to the second round of the playoffs first time that happened since 76 and it was the first time it happened as the Clippers in 1976 they were still the Buffalo Braves so really do cherish that autograph. I mean, I love them all, but that one's a little bit special because he is, a in my eyes, he's a legend in Clippers history. I also have a binder of more autographs. I'll flip through these um, right quick. This is Aaron Tippin, country music star. This um, came from Kimberly. She saw him in concert a couple of years back. You got wrestling superstar of the Honky Tonk Man, the guy who beat Ricky Steamboat for the Intercontinental title back in 1987. Mark Harmon. I opened that uh, earlier this year on a um, Mailroom Monday. Former St. Joseph um, Hawk head coach Phil Martelli, now the associate head coach at Michigan. That was another email success. Pat Sajak and Vanna White. I messaged um, Vanna White's official Facebook page and um, they got that in the mail to me. This was also for sale at Comic Con from a, a local um, vendor, Brett the Hitman Hart. One of my all time favorite wrestlers and he is responsible for the greatest book I've ever read, which was his autobiography, Hitman. I believe it was My Real Life, My Real Life in the Cartoon World of Professional Wrestling. I highly recommend that. If you're a wrestling fan, definitely. If you love a good story, definitely. Yeah, you won't regret uh, checking his book out. Tito Santana. I met him at the same Comic Con I met Ricky Steamboat last month. Bobby Blaze, 
former Smoky Mountain heavyweight champion, and, I, and a really nice guy. I saw him not only at Comic Con, but also at that Williamson show that I saw the Rock and Roll Express set. Made him both times at, at Williamson. I bought his, book, his second book. I already had his first book, so I got an autographed um, copy of the second book. Really loved it, and um, just... Like I said, just an, an outstanding person. We had a nice conversation at Comic Con, and if you ever get a chance to meet Bobby Blaze, uh, you definitely want to do so. Barry Wyndham. He had a great career in WWF, uh, NWA slash WCW. And a funny thing about this picture, this um, was originally in the WCW magazine in 1992 as a poster. And I had that very poster on my bedroom wall. So when I saw it at Comic Con, I'm like, well, you know, I can't uh, turn down a chance to get not only that picture of it, but also autographed by Barry Wyndham. He was one of my favorites in the early 90s. Luscious Lawrence, who you may have saw in a uh, previous Mailroom Monday. And finally, Mr. Hughes. And as I said earlier, I watch Ohio Valley Wrestling each week. I love watching it. It's really got me back into watching professional wrestling on a daily basis, or on a weekly basis, I guess you could say. If you remember about a year or so ago, um, I reached out via email to their ring announcer, Eric Cornish, who was kind enough to send me this autographed picture. Which leads me into the big reveal of the day. Something that's changed about professional wrestling, as far as I'm concerned, is um, now it's much easier to be able to get like autographed pictures and interact with wrestlers as as opposed to how it was in the early 90s when I was a, a little boy when I first got into professional wrestling. You could, you could go to shows, and if you were lucky, they would come out to what they call the gimmick table and sell pictures, take pictures. They'd autograph programs if you had a program and such like that. With Ohio Valley Wrestling, they've yet to come to our area yet. So, um, in the case of Luscious Lawrence and Eric Cornish, I just reached out to them via email and Facebook. And this next um, competitor from OVW is a newcomer to OVW, and maybe even professional wrestling. I don't think she's been wrestling very long. I know she hasn't in OVW. Her name is Michelle Green. Uh, she hails from Switzerland, the Swiss Sensation. Um, she had a link on her, I believe it was her um, Twitter. If it wasn't Twitter, it was her Facebook, where she had like a merchandise thing set up with the pictures and such that she sells at the Ohio Valley Wrestling Shows. And uh, when you go to order, you put down in, in the like, um, there's like a box below where you can get, the, get it like inscribed to someone. So I asked for, uh, for it to be personally autographed. So we'll open this up. I always like to be real careful when I open autograph pictures because, you know, I don't want to take a chance on reaping it, you know. But I really enjoy watching Michelle Green as she's um, came in and playing the role of the um, cheating heel quite well. Like, she'll cheat to win in her matches. Like, she'll grab tights or put her foot on the ropes for extra leverage. And then that sets the uh, ring, the um, announcer... Ryan Kennison into a tizzy because he hates it when wrestlers cheat, and I think it's I think it's funny how he gets mad because it just reminds me of how the old school wrestling used to be, you know. Okay, so got this card here. Here's a Michelle Green. The International Swiss Sensation. You can pause that if you like. Read more about her. And here is the picture. Unfortunately, out here on the bottom, it did get bent a little bit, but that's the risk you take when you deal with the post office but a very high quality 8x10 and once I put it in the frame that should um, uh, smooth that out so 
no harm, no foul there. And I think there's something else in here. Yes, there is. Uh, there might be a... And she threw in as a bonus a Michelle Green $100 bill. One of her catchphrases is always bet on Michelle Green. So if she backs it up, she has her own money. So this is a very nice, a very nice souvenir, like which I said. She also sells this on her website, so threw that in for free. So I really appreciate that. So there's a look at my autograph collection. If you have a favorite, down, please let me know in the comments down below. But until then, later guys.